Hello everybody, welcome back. I know, it's uh, pretty quick on this one, another edition of uh, Western Prospecting, uh, Blue and I. We're gonna go up, uh, we're headed to the East Fork of the San Gabriel River, which is Southern California. Uh, we're gonna get a, dig up some of uh, California's gold. Gonna put it in our pan, and uh, hopefully we'll show you a whole bunch. We've got a nice uh, crescent moon, it's gonna light our way a little bit. And along with us today is Phaedra. She's about a year and a half now. Beautiful. Great camp dog, isn't she? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, she's a different dog in the city. She's much better up here. Well, she actually mellows out and uh, uh, isn't as excitable, oddly enough. Yeah, it's so. like she's in her element. She's really good. So, uh, another little shot of the moon there for you. And the reason I stopped here, uh, this is the San Gabriel Dam. And uh, Sorry about the light, it's about 7 o'clock, we're getting up into the canyon uh, in the evening and we're going to make this hike up as it's uh, cooled down already because it was about probably 95 degrees today down in the valley. Uh, this is uh, the Santa, uh, San Gabriel Dam and they have released probably 90% of the water down there. And uh, you know, there's, there's some conjecture about where it went and what happened, uh, but I think the most important part is it's the middle of summer. And there was a ton of water in here. Actually, if you wait it out, it would probably be a million tons. Uh, anyways, uh, a lot of water. Where did it all go? Why release it in the middle of summer? Uh, I should have hung on to it or something. Anyways, uh, just wanted to give you a shot of that. Um, maybe they're going to run some uh, equipment in here and uh, take out some of the quote-unquote uh, overburden. Uh, and maybe uh, pull a little uh, gold out along with it to line their pockets. Who knows? It's possible. Anyways, folks, we're going to get up on the trail. We're going to hit it in the full darkness. We'll be all right. Been there. Finally beat the heat. Done that. Noisy bird. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that is. No kidding. So anyways, we'll be back in a moment. Wish us luck. Hang tight. Hang tight? I don't, yeah, like she said. Does anybody still say that? I don't know. What do you think? Be right back. Hello folks. I'm back. Uh, just uh, doing some test pans for the morning. Did a whole lot of testing. Didn't do much finding. Uh, maybe two colors in one of the pans. Um, I did about eight or nine pans on the way up the stream from here. And uh, I'm, I was... Well, I think some of you know how that feels. So anyhow, um, I'm going to head upstream uh, and I'll show you some of these test spots. I have the smartest dog in the world. She's uh, convinced that uh, no matter what the temperature outside is, is, she has to lay down in the sunlight. And we've got our camp over there flying the uh, California Republic flag. Uh, California, it's the golden state. Man, there's some stuff starting up about making the San Gabriel uh, Mountains a national monument. And, uh, you know, one of the things it's gonna do is it's gonna take uh, more gold prospecting out of the golden state. I mean, you know, look at the state seal. Uh, you know, uh, look at all the monikers for our state. Anyways, uh, on and on, um, but please do some research. Uh, go to uh, plp.org. That's uh, Public Lands for the People. Uh, they'll give you a rundown of what's going on. And they are. They're actually for everyone. Uh, people that off-road, people that hunt, uh, people that hike. Uh, there's a lot of things that are uh, uh, changing. A lot of regulations and a lot of uh, uh, laws are uh, being subverted or a lot of uh, constitutional rights are being subverted uh, because uh, you know they've, they've, there's there's people out there that will um, that will say hey we, we want to do this and we're gonna take away your rights and that's how it is and I don't think anyone should be uh, have their constitutional rights taken away. Anyways, uh, enough seriousness. Uh, let's get to some gold. Let's get to some uh, some prospecting talk. Uh, first thing, I'm not sure who found this. Well, obviously, because 
We found this some other time, but look at this old connecting rod. Is this maybe part of a drive assembly? Uh, but this is something that you'll find in these rivers. This is what tells you you're digging in the right spot. Um, but uh, is, it, is this for a crushing mill back from the uh, 1800s or, you know, the 1930s? All right. Uh, I'm in my dry shoes right now. Uh, let me get upstream a little bit and I'll start showing you some test holes. Okay. So, uh... East Fork of the San Gabriel River. I'm uh, gonna head up and I'm gonna show you some uh, some spots that I ran some test pans. Uh, we've got obviously the river's main path here. Uh, to the left of me, there's a large berm, probably three to four foot uh, higher than the uh, water, and that extends down here uh, quite a bit. Some of it, I suspect, is man-made uh, overburden and, and toss over. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out here because I'm not seeing a lot of gold. Um, I'm sure that I know it's been worked over for a long time, so I'm sure finding, you know, nice uh, nice pastries here are going to be a challenge, but I'm looking. I'm doing a lot of test pans trying to find it. Uh, so spot number one, um, I believe it was this rock, which is right in front of that, uh, that strange linkage, that super beefy linkage there. Uh, and uh, I pulled that off of uh, that spot right there where it's exposed, ran a test pan, not so much a swing and a miss. And then came up here. There's my cut and classifier. And I had a little waterfall here. This is where I had my uh, small sluice box set up last time. Uh, punched down a few inches, did a test pan. Zero. So, I came across, and uh, you have to bear with me. Uh, I'll be trying to remember these spots as I came through, as, I, as we go through right now. And uh, we had the water come up and got diverted by a large boulder up here and then sent the water up here. Uh, I did a test in uh, one of these streams on my last trip and uh, didn't find anything in the top two inches. You know, I'm trying to stick and move and stick and move and see what uh, see where this darn pastry is. But I know there's gold in the river. I know it's here. came up here, and I remember doing a test pan right here, center of the stream, this rock, nice flat rock, it was right there, flipped it over, test pan underneath it, not so much, and so we got here, <coughs> a big boulder on the left, redirected some water off to the left there, but your main channel comes around here, and you've got that uh, hard left hand turn for the river. Um, so that's why I was running this test pan. No gold, no color, no color, really, no color. So I was a little dejected this morning. I think you can still hear it. I'm, that must be what it is. I'm just dejected talking about my lack of testing skills. But uh, that's how you get better, is you just continue to do it and you you take more notes and you have more people leave comments and on your uh, YouTube videos and uh, so uh, next test hole was here took a, took a pan off the top two inches nothing uh, dug down another four inches took a test pan nothing so I don't know um, but uh, I was doing some work here this morning and uh, there's some guys that are camped up here, and my dog kept sneaking off and running into their camp, and eventually she, I think, uh, 
you know. She got on my nerves about it, so, I don't know. Had to go back downstream, had to you uh, try to find a better spot uh, downstream, back uh, back closer to my camp. Uh, anyways, I am, uh, I'm headed upstream. I, uh, I'm actually playing today the role of East Fork Postmaster General. Got a, uh, couple of birthday cards from my buddy, the wild man. So I'm gonna go, uh, drop off some birthday cards for this guy. I'm gonna go, uh, run up, uh, up canyon and, uh, see how that goes. I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll let me do some shooting. We'll check in with the wild man. See you in a second. Okay, folks, well, we may have a, a failure, failure of, uh, delivery here. Uh, I made it to the campsite. Uh, nobody's home. Uh, all of their uh, tools are uh, packed up for the moment, so either they went down the hill to go hang out, or they went up into the canyon to go dig for big California gold, big chunky, uh, get you excited gold, make your heart race, and, and just, you know, you get to feel that weight, you get to feel that, that density that only gold has. Uh, anyhow, um, my guys aren't here. Uh, I've got to go up canyon, uh, look for some equipment that may or may not be there and I'm gonna come back down and get back to camp and we're gonna start to move some material uh, I'm gonna fall back onto the uh, the holes that I test panned for the last two trips that showed me a little bit of color and I'm just gonna move some tonnage so uh, be right back okay folks quick little uh, check in there uh, I'm gonna go up look for this piece of equipment I just uh, learned from a buddy of mine over here that uh, wild man has gone up to uh, Devil's Gulch and uh, Devil's Waterfall. A beautiful spot. I wonder what's going on with it right now. Water's probably a little bit of a trickle, so it'll be interesting to see the uh, the moss wall. It's beautiful. I've got another uh, another video that I've shot it with uh, a lot of flowing water over it. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, message me, I'll tell you which video. Um, tell me which video if you know, and uh, maybe I'll find a gifty gift surprise for you to send your way. Uh, anyways. Um, Devil's Waterfall, let's go! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know Dude, check out this backpack. Who is that is $130 of badassedness. Thank you, sir. And then there's this guy attached to it, but he was like, no, 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 just, just get my backpack. So, there's the backpack. Thank you, Fucking wild man, I found him. He was up here, he was uh, uh, being the uh, trail savior for today. There were some people that I normally holler at to stay off of the upper trail. There's a, a slid, uh, a slid old trail that goes up there, and it's it's deadly, effectively, and a lot of people still try to go that way. So uh, Dan saved some guys, and uh, Dan, so, what'd you get today? What did I get today? What I got mail. I got the Pony Express in the wilderness. Uh, how was that, dude? It was awesome. What'd you get? I got two cards, one for my mom and one for my grandma for my birthday. Dude, for his birthday. And my grandma wants me to shave my beard. You're Sorry, gonna shave bro. it? That's not happening. Oh Sorry, grandma. man. That's grandma though, bro. No. That's grandma. L last time I saw you in a picture, dude, I said that they were probably gonna uh, uh, tranquilize you and tag you if your beard got any deeper. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, I've been called caveman. Yeah. And Bigfoot. And uh, things like that, mistaken for strange mountain people. Right. But I'm not that strange. I'm a pretty normal guy. Well, hell yeah. It's not strange, to be, you know, to, to enjoy the outdoors. It's not strange to enjoy the, the environment that we we grew up in and uh, and we, we survived through for 30,000, 40,000 years. You know what I mean? No. I think it can be any more natural. So, I think there was good, a happy birthday, dude. Here in the Thank summer. you. Happy birthday. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this guy, no, seriously, all with the with the hat, with the sun hat over here. Frank? Chicks dig it. Chicks dig Chicks it. Chicks dig the so, pointy So, uh, Frank, where'd, where'd you go? What'd you see? Ah, I'm one of those guys that uh, found the horseshoe mine. Looking for a special waterfall. Uh -huh. I have a guide, but we got sidetracked. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we were supposed to go to Devil's Gulch today, but yeah, with any luck, it's not somebody's life. Oh man. Which is a little more important than me going to the waterfall. They seem to be doing a bad habit of mine, saving people. <laughs> well, you know, that's what I was telling you. You shouldn't go to the army. I think you're needed more here. You know how many people? Anyway, dude, don't be reporting this. I got something for me too. Yeah, 
That's a pro rock. I'm a fucking. I'm not a pro dog. Okay, well, you can see it from this rock. You have to walk on that rock to keep going anyway. Probably the line. Just stay on that one. Yeah, they're just not crumble under the What are you talking about? That fucking thin ass concrete slab. That thing's not the game. How about you? Dude. Oh. Dude, that's it. Oh yeah! Hey dog, look at that! Right into the side of the mountain. Dude! Pretty awesome, huh? That is badass. I'm taking a picture. Okay. I'm taking a picture. I hope so. Because you know that would just be wrong with me. We made it. All the way up and over? Devil's Gulch. Devil's Waterfall. I'm telling you, it's the backpack and the pointy hat. Check it out, dude. When the water's when the water's blasting through here, it goes over there and it drops down and then it shoots off of that. Uh, it does that little whirlwind yeah, effect. Does. No, yeah, the, yeah. dude, look at that. It's a perfect like eagle perch right up above it too. Like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, mama. This is my backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Love you, Mama, Grandma. Good morning, YouTube. How you doing? Happy Labor Day. Out here on the river, enjoying it. Uh, we, uh, we saw a little bit of Saturday. We went in, delivered some mail. Uh, Got to go on a really nice hike. Didn't get really any digging done on uh, on Saturday. Uh, Sunday got some digging done, but a lot of testing and uh, not a lot of gold finding. So a little bit sad. Um, but I got up early this morning. I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna take some uh, unorthodox uh, sample pans, and then uh, also gonna get to show you a little bit of uh, cool geology stuff that I saw while I was hiking around this morning. Uh, but how about a quick? and pathetic look at my uh, my box. Check it out. Beautiful though. Worst case scenario is I'm out in nature and it is gorgeous. I love it. All right. Pulled out the big box this weekend, hiked it in. Wasn't too bad. Um, let's see. One little flake about dead center. We got a couple of little guys hanging out up on that corner. And it looks like the other handful of specks that were in there have uh, moved on down. Uh, something interesting for my river, I would imagine it's the same for rivers everywhere, is uh, in the mid afternoon, the water level drops down. And uh, the other side of that is when you get up in the morning, the water is back up to normal and it is hauling ass. So uh, I try to set my boxes for that. I try to uh, cut the flow on them a little bit at nighttime. That way in the morning they're uh, they're not running too fast. Uh, this is running a little bit fast. I don't think it's too fast. So um, but that's that's all I got to say about that. Oh, why? It's a good question. Hold on, my runaway dog is running away. Pedro, come here. Why do you ask? Why does the river drop down? Why don't we make it a quiz? Anybody? Anybody? This is your opportunity. Throw it in the comments. Why does the uh, river drop down a little bit in flow in the late afternoon? Thanks for watching. More prospecting in a second. Okay, folks, we just wanted to show you the next test pan. Uh, a ton of black sand. It was actually a really good sign. No uh, no gold in it, but a bunch of black sand. So uh, on the other side of that berm, 10 yards or so, is the uh, the stream itself. And then what you have upriver here is uh, the bedrock that shoots straight up there. Probably shoots up a good 80, 100 feet, something like that. And then 
This is that edge of that uh, bedrock going up. And a lot of this material has been worked and see it uh, reconnects with the river right there. You got a little small channel right here. And it uh, looks like, I'm sure everybody's tested the bottom of this, <clears throat> but sometimes you find uh, gold up on these higher benches. And so I did an easy little test pan right here. Uh, not a lot of material to work uh, work here. Got some uh, shrubs there. I can't break in and dig into those. But if I wanted, I could, you know, blow out this corner. I may do that later this afternoon because it's uh, easy to get to and easy to, to pull down to the... Uh, the sluice box so uh, you know test pan number one for today a lot of black sand just for one pan it was a little, quite a bit of black sand not too bad uh, no color yet in that pan though so let's uh, let's go take a little walk and we'll uh, find a couple more spots to test out <laughs> 